Brian Gunner from FightHype.com. I'm here with the one and only, what would we say, Bullet? Coach Bullet, Cromwell Gordon, a.k.a. Coach Bullet. Now, what should we put on the headlines after, you know, you know, next Saturday, you know, because there's a lot of people that talk great about you, talk bad about you, but they're going to be talking on that Sunday. So, um, what should we put in the history books coming up on, on Sunday? Cromwell Gordon, a.k.a. Coach Bullet. Mm, okay. Now, more importantly, let's talk about the media work. We saw a little glimpse of that power. Obviously, that's what everyone's going to be talking about. Um, is your arms okay? Is your, is, is, I mean, you're, you're today, a real strong, okay. strong guy. So they're, they're okay today. <laughs> now, um, just, just going into this fight, obviously, it's, it's definitely going to not just be power, but very technical. And I think and I think people are kind of overlooking that the aspect that you guys are putting, just thinking you're coming and just swinging for the fences. Um, without giving the game plan, just talk about the training camp that's kind of been implementing and how great it was. It's going to be a chess game. It's going to be a chess match for real. Um, Tank is a smart fighter. Rhodey's a very smart fighter. Um, it's going to be, you got to make the mistake, you know what I'm saying? And which is hard for Rhodey to make that mistake because he's not in a position himself to make those mistakes. He's not going to work on emotion. He's not going to work on his really in a position. I mean, mentally, he's going to He's going to position himself to be sharp and to be defensive at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So, when you talk about the first round KO, it's because if Tank Fierce is going to come in and, you know, press him, thank you. That's what we want. But we're prepared for 16 rounds. 12, if you're not. 16 rounds will be prepared for. Now, obviously, the fight fans don't really know about boxing. Seeing the fact that Tank is fighting a big guy with power, you know, this, this is a lore that he's not taking it serious, but this, a lot of people saying this is the most serious he kind of seems Tank, to be. Tank is taking this fight most seriously because he feels like Rolly's a bum, Rolly don't belong on the same stage as him. Why is he fighting this guy? Well, he's the one in WA. And you have to enter a belt, they got an entrance, so now you have to fight him. It's not a way with a promotion, GTG promotion, PBC promotion. It's, it's a fucking WBA sanctioned fight. That's what people don't understand. People that don't know, think about what I just said. Yeah. And, and you know, and overall with this fight being possibly the biggest fight on pay-per-view that's, you know, maybe with the Canelo, that's just going to be intertwined, might, might surpass it. Um, just overall, that, that's a huge stage, you know, going on there. It's the biggest stage, I mean, and, and, and we embrace it, we really embrace it, he loves it. He knows that this is game changing, this is life changing, this is legacy, you know what I'm saying? And most of all, you know what I'm saying, he has the confidence that it takes to beat a Javante Davis. Three division world champion, you know, big V star, he has that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So. Appreciate it. I don't get you in trouble. Give me a minute. That's my minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give Come in. Few has done some upsets on the top rank cars, so not really giving too much. But you've had really great quality work preparing. I got to see the sparring. Well, as, as good as it can get for a soft cross case, but uh, the two guys that we work with, you know, shout out to Tony Khan and also Claudio Guerrero. So thank you guys for being around and I'm gonna make sure you take care of it. Now, now, you know, with this, you know, atmosphere that's, that's happening and things like that, you've been in, you know, big, you know, situations, things like that. 
Um, have you been getting a lot more attention and, and things like that? And have you been blocking all like social media, some some love, some hate, some some things that are a little bit different from a trainer that you have? I'm not a type of trainer that's attention. Mm -hmm. I'm a trainer that just does my job. And I, if you respect me, respect you. Don't respect me, don't respect you. And that's the person I am. You know what I'm saying? So the attention really don't matter to me. It's him winning the belts and being the top of the food chain. It matters to me. My work can speak for itself through him. Is that what I'm saying? So the social media is a lot of people talking crap, you know, and whatever. That's cool. Everybody had opinions. It was great. You know, and there's a lot of trainers that's been in the position like the underdog, the B side, the under hype, but then later on reviewed, uh, revered as like geniuses and things like that. Is this one of those fights that you're able to I mean, kind of get that first underneath the belt of like, many? Most trainers, they know exactly what they have. See, boxing is like this. You have a, 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 a toolkit, so nobody knows it's a toolkit to get the job done. You get the job done better than most of you just by having the right tool. Mm -hmm. How much experience they have on you? And, and, and just, you know, just not just having like a sense of holding pads and having a good game plan, but a sense of timing. Do, do you feel going into this fight, there's obviously a speed and factor, but timing's the most important thing coming into this fight? What I'm not is a bit I'm not a pad man. I'm a very intelligent coach. He says cerebral assassin. Ooh, let me get that real quick. Cerebral assassin. They look at muscles, they look at, do I talk? Aggression, no. I'm very cerebral. And, and going into that, like the strategy of timing, how do you prepare a fighter for, I guess, timing? Like, there's a lot of guys that have speed, but the guy who may relatively is as fast, but some viewers say that guy's faster. But the time, timing, how do you, how do you get the time? Timing beats all day. Timing beats, timing beats everything. And so timing is what it's about. And then an instinctive game, boxing is a fight. People get the boxing game twisted with just pure boxing. There's two sides to this boxing game. There's a boxing side and there's a fight side. And that's what we refer to real life. But the drills that I see online, the, the timing aspect, mm -hmm. is, 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 there, is there certain things that you have to do as a trainer yeah, to get that we, timing? We don't waste time on pity bad. Mm -hmm. We don't waste time. We, waste, we put our time efficiently. We work on combinations that work against the southpaw. We put our, our time and effort on combinations that work in the fight. We're not doing all that. Have you ever seen anybody do any that's they're doing on a power? Have you ever seen that in the ring? No. Mm -hmm. Maybe when the other guy is tired, you can do some slick or try to showboat. But really, if there's two guys on the same level, you're not going to see all that bullcrap. You know so, and then just my, my overall last question before I let you go, appreciate the time. You know, just learning a little bit more as your trainer. Like you mentioned, you don't really do the new school. It's your style more like the old school, like bags, road work, kind of just let's get down. Because his, his back is looking crazy. Like, Rose's back looks insane. And, and the thing is, is he's, he's mature. He's turned into a man. Now he has a Before he would have been knocking everybody out. He was just, you know, off of instinct and, and just you know, natural power. Now he's putting that natural power that I cannot teach. He's putting that natural power together with technique and fundamentals. And so with his mindset and his confidence, he's a very dangerous fighter. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the time. Excited to see you all in New York next week. Thank you.